Welcome back to the channel. Now, I wanted to do a year in review wrap up for 2023. There's a lot that has gone into this car this year, and I want to kind of go back and look at what we've done to the car. Now, this year started off with me actually traveling, and I left the car in Florida with Mechanic Bro. He was doing some upgrades to the transmission. We actually added a new clutch. Um, we added a limited slip diff, a wave track. And when I came back, it was a, an amazing car to drive back from Florida to Texas where I live. Since then, we've done a couple other mechanical upgrades. We took out the clutch delay valve, which is in the clutch slave cylinder. And then more recently, we actually added uh, the forge short shifter, which has been amazing. Now, if you're keeping up, I actually did pull that back a little bit. So now it's running about 15, 20%. Now, as far as the uh, visual upgrades to the car, we've actually done quite a few things in 2023. We started out the year with replacing the rear tail lights and we put on some Union Jack tail lights from Fun Fob. Um, then we went ahead and changed these styling bolts under the hood. I've actually since swapped those out and put on some styling bolts from Downstar, which look amazing. We got a carbon fiber engine cover from Carbon Mini. That looks awesome. It ties together the, the under the hood presence. Now under the hood is looking fantastic. And then um, the last thing we did was we replaced those rear fog lights. We also replaced the switch for the rear fog lights that's in the car. Now we have functional rear fog lights in the same way that Europeans have functional rear fog lights. So as far as styling, I'm really happy with the look of the car. There are really only a few things that I might wanna do in the future. Leave in the comments if you have some ideas of what you would like me to do with the styling of the car. I want it to look fairly stock when you see the car. And and I want people not to know how fast it is. So that's the intention. We do have in 2024, some upgrades that are coming as far as styling. We're gonna do, we're gonna make a few changes that I think you'll like. They're probably gonna be minor changes. We have some accents and things that are coming. Now moving on to the interior, we've actually started off early in the year and we added that storage compartment for the trunk area. Um, really making good use of that. It's really cleaned up the trunk area. Now it's, as you can see, completely just clean, pristine. Love it. Uh, really enjoying that mod. The other things we've done to the interior is recently we, we upgraded our head unit from a 2022 car. So now we have the touchscreen 8.8 inch uh, head unit with wireless Apple CarPlay. Coming soon, we're gonna do the video for coding that head unit. That was not easy, so I'm, I wanna do a review on how I got that to work with the help of Ross Tech over in Canada. We also swapped out the steering wheel recently. I'm loving this Geomic steering wheel. It's really fantastic. I love the flat bottom steering wheel. It really helps when you're just chucking a car around into corners. So highly advise you getting a really nice steering wheel for your car. We have some, some more interior upgrades coming. I'm waiting for that digital dash to come back from being virginized. That should be here in a few days. Once we get that, we're gonna install that and get it coded to the car. As for maintenance, we, we've just done mostly normal routine maintenance on the car this year. We've got a couple oil changes. Uh, we also had a misfire issue, which we tackled in a video, uh, replacing the spark plugs and the coils, and that seemed to solve that. Now, there was one other thing that we did uh, as far as maintenance, and that is replacing the fuel breather valve. Didn't actually make a video of that, but um, was having some issues with the fuel. Replaced that valve, everything worked out fine after that. Now, as far as the chassis, we only had a couple small chassis upgrades. One was putting on this belly pan from the F57, the convertible. Now, that made a world of difference in terms of the handling of the car, it really stiffened it up. And the only other thing we did as far as chassis and ride goes is we replaced the, the bushings for the front control arms. We put some PowerFlex bushings on. Unfortunately, I didn't get to do a video of that. Some things I can't actually do myself, 
that required a blowtorch and all kinds of serious equipment. So I had the shop handle that. 2023 has also been a year of a lot of adventures. Had the pleasure of attending the Monaco Grand Prix for the first time. Such an amazing event. Bucket list, check. While I was in the area, um, on my way back to Paris, I had the pleasure of meeting up with Luca, who has this really well put together mini JCW. He was gracious enough to give me a ride to the train station in Marseille. So I got to chat with him. Um, so thanks Luca for that experience. While I was in France, I also got to attend the French Open. Tennis is one of my great passions. So had a blast uh, enjoying a little tennis while I'm in Paris. I went to two tennis majors this year. I got to also go to the US Open in New York where I hooked up with Damian Brown and got to drive his GP2 and Pac-Man. An insane R56 build with over 450 horsepower. What a car, what a car. During 2023, I also had the pleasure of driving a couple other uh, GP cars. I got to drive two GP3s. Uh, first, Gabriel's GP3 in Miami. Also, met a new friend from Arkansas, Michael, who also allowed me to drive his GP3. We actually did a car swap. Unfortunately, that video didn't make the channel, but looking forward to connecting with Michael again and hopefully getting to drive a couple of his other cars. He's got quite the collection of minis up in Arkansas. As you can see, we're actually in a new spot. I moved about a month ago. We have a two car garage and there's only one car here. So that means we're gonna have to do a project car, right? So we actually have some work that we're gonna con continue doing on the R56, which we've been working on. That car will come to Texas, but we have room for another project car. So sometime this year, probably early in the year, we're gonna get another car. Leave in the comments if you have some ideas of what car you would like to see me work on. I have a couple of ideas myself, but I'm curious of what you think. With that, I wanna wish all of you a really happy new year, happy 2024. I wish you all the best and I'll see you with another video coming very soon.